All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome in. So Adam Schefter of ESPN just reported some Jets news. Uh, nothing too crazy, but in the lieu of Zach Wilson's absence, the team is set to work out Josh Johnson and Sean Mannion on Thursday. Okay, so right now the Jets are in a situation where we're two days into training camp, two days in, and our starting franchise quarterback, rookie second overall pick Zach Wilson, is not there. The quarterbacks that we currently have there, James Morgan and Mike White, don't really provide a lot of experience, especially in the case of James Morgan, where he has not taken a single snap in the preseason. So it's it's quite concerning. And and we're going to dive into both players in just a second here, both Johnson and uh, Mannion. But the one thing I do want to just mention, this is what I'm afraid of. I'm afraid of Joe Douglas sitting here and saying to himself, you know what? I don't see an end to this anytime soon. Not tonight. Not tomorrow. So we have to go work out veteran options, cheap veteran options as placeholders until the Zach Wilson thing gets done. Because I feel like with the workout set for Thursday, today's Wednesday, so tomorrow, would these workouts be set up in the first place if the team felt confident in signing Zach Wilson today, tonight? tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. I don't know. And that's what's freaky about the entire situation. I mean, listening to Robert Salah speak about it, he kind of was matter of fact about it, you know, pretty to the point, uh, but also gave the indication like, hey, it's, it, he, you know, he's our guy. The offense is still going to be built around him. There's nothing radical happening here. It'll get done in time. So, that's my biggest fear, is that Joe Douglas, this front office, is looking at the situation like, man, this is going to be a couple weeks before Wilson's in here. We need to get a veteran quarterback in the building ASAP before we go out and you know sign a Blake Bortles, before we go out and pursue a trade with Nick Foles, let's see some cheaper options first. Let's see if, you know, maybe we can, uh, you know, have something there on a really, really, really team friendly deal. Uh, because let's face it, Johnson and both, both Johnson and Mannion are not going to be commanding crazy amounts of money or anything like that. So let's talk about Josh Johnson. This is a guy who's obviously been around the league for a long, long time. He's played on numerous, numerous teams, Bucks, Bengals, uh, Browns, Niners, Lions, Raiders, who well, I know I'm forgetting a couple, Washington. Washington back in 2018, where Josh Johnson actually saw some time, where he was able to man down the four at least for a couple weeks. I mean, he can make plays with his legs. He has a really strong arm, throws a really tight spiral, just a nice football, a uh, quick release, but he's up there in age. He's definitely bounced around. Around, uh, seeing his fair share of football. I will say this though, he spent 2020 uh, or a portion of the 2020 season on the 49ers practice uh, squad. So there is some level of uh, of uh, knowledge with this Mike LaFleur system. So it's not like he's going to be walking in, again, assuming he's the guy that the Jets sign here if they do in fact sign anybody. He could be walking into a situation where he has a good understanding of, you know, a specific chunk of the offense. So the learning curve isn't going to be this steep, steep uh, task. And then in the case of Sean Mannion, he was actually pretty productive at Oregon State. I mean, this was a big body quarterback, six foot five, six foot six. He stood tall in the pocket. Uh, numerous, I mean, I feel like every, every single week back at Oregon State, Mannion was always delivering passes down the field, crisp passes over the middle. Uh, doesn't have the strongest arm in the world, and it, he's just a traditional pocket passer. The mobility with Mannion is not really there at all, uh, but quite productive back in college. He was a third-round pick back, I believe, in 2014 or 2015 by the Rams. Was the backup there for a long time. He was able to hold on to that spot, but last season he was with the Minnesota Vikings. So at the end of the day, Josh Johnson, Sean Mannion, those are the two options that the Jets have scheduled to work out on Thursday. We'll see what happens there. We'll see if a signing is made, if, if you know somebody impresses like that. But the bigger concern here is Zach Wilson. Going back to the point before, is this front office, is Joe Douglas looking at the situation saying to himself, I don't know when Zach Wilson's going to be here. It could be in two days it could be in two weeks it could be in a month we have no idea if that's the case then we're in trouble I mean that's why you go out and acquire a veteran backup quarterback Mike McCagnan did it with Teddy Bridgewater we already had Josh McCown on the roster back with Sam Darnold in 2018 so if Darnold decided to hold out and you know skip every day of training camp and just not show up until game day week one of the regular season it was of course it was a big deal but we had that insurance policy in place with Teddy and Josh with this situation we don't have that insurance policy we don't I mean maybe James Morgan's a beast maybe Mike White bursts onto the scene I do like some of Mike uh, Mike White's traits, and then James Morgan. He actually kind of plays a lot like Nick Foles, or at least did back at FIU, but it's been so long. I mean, 
I, it's been so long since I've watched James Morgan play. It's been over a year, like over a year and a half, two years. So that's not really a guy that I feel great about going into the season. But again, who knows? That's what training camp's here for. So anyway, I'll leave it there. Josh Johnson, Josh Johnson, Sean Mannion, set to work out with this team tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. We got to get this Wilson contract figured out as soon as possible because this cannot drag on. If this continues to drag and drag and drag just throughout the course of training camp, I, I feel like it will be a major, major issue. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. And as always, go Jets.